Black Power family. Peace. You know what I'm saying? Hope everybody's doing good out there. It's your brother, Floyd Williams. I'm going to try to keep this video as uh, brief as possible to keep y'all's attention and say so I can check out the entirety of the message. You know, uh, the first thing I want to make clear is that I love my people. I love black people. You know what I'm saying? Don't nobody love the black family more than I do. Nobody. You know? <laughs> hey, the series of those guys who listen to me say that. You know, I know you like, hold up. You know what I'm saying? I love my people too. You, how you gonna say you love them? Nobody love them more than you do. Right? See, I know that's false. I know that's false. I know that that statement, nobody loves black people more than I do, I know that's false. You see what I'm saying? And that would strictly be the ego. You know what I'm saying? That would strictly be the ego. You see, that wouldn't be truth speaking. You see, that wouldn't be the, uh, the spirit really speaking because that's outside of truth. You see, but I do love my people. And um, I know with people out there that love them equally, you know what I'm saying, um, to the point that, that I do. So that statement of me saying I love my people and nobody else love them more than I do, that's false. That's false. And a person in they uh just mind and just spirit, you know, even when they say that it will resonate and strike them as being false. You see, even when I say that, I don't even feel right saying it because I know that it's false. And that's the ego. You see, but the word E, the E by itself in the word E usually uh in etymology of dealing with words E usually means something out or something to be let go, you see, something to be done away with, okay, but, uh, I was, I'm gonna get into the reason of this video as I, uh, go on into the talk, but, uh, you know, RBG, I love it, you feel me, that's my spirit, you know what I'm saying, that's my state of mind, consciously, uh, subconsciously, unconsciously, hey, everything that underlies anything that got to deal with thought of the mind believe me the foundation for me is black power and liberation that is what it is my flag or standard is the uh, black liberation flag red black and green you know it's all about pan-africanism and black power and black liberation you know that's what it is I don't care about nothing else I don't think about nothing else I can't phantom up and see nothing else that is what it is you know, if they was able to get a microscope and capture my breath, they'd probably see a red, black, and green string. You know what I mean? But, uh, family, the thing is, though, that's what I want to talk about, the egos. Cause that's, cause that's really what got to be let go. You see what I'm saying? We all have to self-check ourselves. We all have to self-check ourselves, family. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes we get ahead of ourselves, or sometimes we get to feeling real good, you know what I'm saying, based on something that we is doing. Ain't nothing wrong with that, but we still got to, you know, self-check ourselves to stay balanced and, uh, you know, position in the state of mind and being that we're supposed to be in to keep everything fruitful and vibing and keep it good, you know, keep it balanced, you know, but, uh, my observation, just this, this my observation. Now, other people may see it otherwise, but this is from my observation. You know what I'm saying? The RBG family uh, has, is changing within the past year, the year and a half. It's changing. The mood is different. Behaviors is different. Attitudes is different. You see what I'm saying? And I know certain things change through time, you know, because uh, perspective change, views change, and, you know, people's. Uh, from experiences start to see certain things and and that sets uh in course you know attitudes and behaviors and things like that and whatnot but uh you know but the attitude is changing you know and it's hitting towards more of a negative side you see what i'm saying so this is just a plea to the family for us just to self check ourselves bring it back and keep on striving and working whatever it is you was doing to make a difference and a contribution and an impact you know what I'm saying but we got to bring it back because because uh you know I feel it's a lot of people who, who love to come to this you see what I'm saying but it's also a lot of people that have been a part of it for years who was like fuck this shit who was like forget it 
You see what I'm saying? Because of the attitudes and the moves. Because of the clash of egos. You see what I'm saying? And nobody really wants to integrate or be a part of a house that's burning. You see what I'm saying? And so, I just want to point out and bring back to mind that just because you're doing right works, that don't make you righteous. Or because you're doing righteous works, don't make you right. You see what I'm saying? Doing a good work, that don't make you good. You see? So in all things that we undertake and we endeavor to do, the reward is based on the attention and your purpose of even setting that action in motion. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, being right don't make you righteous. Doing the right work don't make you righteous. And doing the righteous work don't make you right. Doing a good work, it don't make you good. It's all about your intention of the action that you set in motion. You see what I'm saying? And also, family, I'm not excluded from the message. I'm speaking to myself, too. You see what I'm saying? But, uh, so, so that is, so that is just what it is. You know what I'm saying? You have, um, you know, people is, uh, sincerely and wholeheartedly trying to do whatever it is that they could do. But it's like, a lot of people is viewing themselves as being torn down. Because they may not be doing something at a particular height or magnitude or intensity or on the same level that somebody else is operating in. You see what I'm saying? And so, you know, we can't tear down a brother or a sister effort. However they choose the album to get out, you know what I'm saying, to propagate and do what it is that they have to do, we can't knock that. You see what I'm saying? Because we have to look at it, have to look at it and realize that every, everybody's single effort is integral. You know, it's an integral effort. You see what I'm saying? And I'm sure that the brother and the sister who may not be at the certain capacity level that somebody else is operating in the same spirit as the other person who is supposedly doing something on another level. You see what I'm saying? The spirit and intention is still the same. The goal and the the goal and the finish line, the point that we're trying to get to, it's the same place. And they all aid the other. You see what I'm saying? They all aid the other. You see what I'm saying? And so, uh, the knocking of somebody else or their methodology or their way of approaching going about doing it, you know what I'm saying? That's something that we got to get away from. You see what I'm saying? We got to get on more encouragement, you know what I'm saying? Of lifting. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? We give positive criticism or uh, what they call uh, constructive criticism. You know what I'm saying? That's all good. Yes, some things do need to be corrected, put down, you know what I'm saying, some people may need to be ostracized, whatever, you see what I'm saying, but as long as they are operating within African principles, what they're doing is within African principles, you know what I'm saying, who cares how they're going about doing something, who cares about their methodology to get some done, as long as, as long as it's within African principles and it's my, you know what I'm saying, it's all good then, it's all good then, but the ego the ego is killing us. The ego is killing the RBG community. You see what I'm saying? So the thing is, what I'm encouraging is, we got to let it flow. We got to let it flow. We got to let that energy flow. Let the currency flow. You see what I'm saying? Because that's the life. When I say energy flow and the currency flow, I'm talking about the support. You see what I'm saying? We got to support everybody in whichever way it is that we can. You see what I'm saying? That works. So what I'm seeing is, I'm seeing this mentality developing and creeping in, you see what I'm saying, because now we have rings within rings, of circles within circles, you see what I'm saying, and these rings within rings and circles within circles represent cliques, groups, you see what I'm saying, the mindset, that's what it is developing, because the support is not extending beyond a particular ring, group, or circles, you see what I'm saying, every people it's not spreading that energy and that float and that currency out. You see what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with having your clip, you know, having your tribe, but keep in mind the family though. You see what I'm saying? Those who are outside of you that may not be intimately with you in your circle, your group, or your clip, but it's still our family though. You see what I'm saying? So we gotta reach out for them, support them, that everybody eat, get a little uh I don't want to say shine, but you know, light, you know what I'm saying, let them feel the warmth of your ray, you see what I'm saying, so they'll feel accepted and a part of, you see what I'm saying, everybody trying to make it, baby, it's a struggle, it's a struggle, everybody's struggling, you see what I'm saying, a lot of us know that, 
because uh you know we still in the mud or even due to the magnitude of works that we is doing or even due to the magnitude of works that we is doing even those who is doing some at a greater level it's still a struggle they ain't necessarily left it but they have the mindset the integrity and the attitude to make a bad situation look good you see what i'm saying so they still there too so, you know, so we all know what it is, fam. We know the goal we reaching from. We know what some of us are evolving from or have evolved from. We understand. You see what I'm saying? That's all I'm talking about. And so, you know, what motivated this was a brother that I've been knowing for years. I had got at him over the book and, uh, you know, greeted him as I always do Black Power. You know, but this time the response was different. It wasn't Black Power or black African power family what's going on he was he was I ain't with that shit I ain't with that shit you see and you know he just gave and he gave me his reasoning and uh you know from there you know but the thing is though you know we got to reach out and support support one another you see saying we got to get out these rings and these circles and we got to support we got to support one another greater you know what I'm saying we got to patronize and support one another greater you see what I'm saying and uh and so the thing was he was like I ain't with it and his reasoning is based on the explanations you know that I'm kind of you know that I'm kind of trying to expound on right now you see and so we gotta we gotta we gotta just support one another and reach out for one another because you know, people are striving and have some good endeavors. And like I said, though, people know when they is being treated right and when they is being treated wrong, or something is done, or, or something is being done with spite or with malice. You see what I'm saying? Or ill intention. Like I said, if a person is in court us with my eye, you know what I'm saying? Then let's get behind them, show them a little love, let them know, brother, it's all good, we see you out here, we know you striving to do this, and also, how hit you go five, ten dollars, whatever, man, you see what I'm saying, to let them know that they is being thought out, let them know that they is on their red eye, we ain't looking out for each other like that, that we can't expect, we can't expect to flourish, you see what I'm saying, we can't expect to flourish, you see what I'm saying, we not, the people are supposed to be having this capitalistic, uh, you know what I'm saying, mind frame, socialism, uh, communism, you know what I'm saying, those are our systems, those were our systems, which was inclusive of people, you see what I'm saying, and so, you know, it just is what it is, though, and, uh, you know, like I said, and people could distinguish that fine line of knowing if something is BS or not, you see, and, uh, you know, um, I'm about to give you some, uh, examples, you know, and I ain't saying this to be so arrogant or nothing like that, but I strive and spend with people I know and people I do not know. And a lot of times I do it, I really don't have the funds to do it. But I have the understanding that if I expect somebody to get get at me and support me and my endeavors then, you know, I, I got to be moving in the same spirit which I expect. You can't expect to uh, receive something if you ain't putting it out there like that you see what I'm saying so you know you got to you got to move in accordance to how you expect to receive you see what I'm saying in order to get because you ain't do, if you ain't moving like that there's no reasonable expectation for you to even be anticipating something you see what I'm saying so you got to set things up and a way to set things up you have to have you have to be moving in that energy and frequency you see what I'm saying as well. So I strive to practice that. Rather I can or cannot do something. I'm going to make sure that I spread out what it is, you know, that I have. So I do it to people I know I don't know. And oftentimes I'm not even in a position to do it. You know what I'm saying? But I but I do it. Because I know it requires that sacrifice for it to be done. But the thing is, though, like for instance, the shea butter. Everything I'm about to show you is stuff from within like the past month or two. And it's shea butter. This this is a pound. You know what I'm saying? Of it. But I got multiple pounds. I got 20 plus pounds of this. You know what I'm saying? And some other things that I or that have places with that order from Afrocentric Network. You know what I'm saying? Good family, good people out of Atlanta. I met them when I was in Atlanta. 
But you know what I'm saying? I patronized them. You know what I'm saying? That was a, that was over one hundred and fifty dollars I spent with them on that order. Okay. I have uh, the book right here from Cavity Jenkins, uh, who was a Facebook friend of mine. I don't know, never better day in my life. But I seen this guy that had a book. You know what I'm saying? And she be trying to spit some fire and truth. I said, let me go ahead and see what this guy is just talking about. I want to know what she's talking about. You know, I want to support her. You know what I'm saying? She seemed, she seemed cool. Let me check out the book. I went ahead and got it off top. You know what I'm saying? No hesitation. Uh, brother uh, Junichi Bomani from uh, coming out of Texas. Very good brother. Very good brother. You know what I'm saying? Um, I didn't even know he had a book coming out. His book is called... Uh, Jelani's first day of school. I didn't even know the brother had a book coming out. You know what I'm saying? But when I seen this book coming across my news feed a couple months back, I immediately went in here to jump the body. You know what I'm saying? He had two different packages, like a forty, fifty dollar package, you get a book, pencil, backpack, and a whole bunch of other stuff. I couldn't afford that at that time. I just got the book for the dub. You know what I'm saying? The brother still showed me love and included me and sent everything else still along with it. But I couldn't even spend the twenty at the time. I really didn't even have it. But I said, man, I'm going to go ahead and get it anyway because, you know, this same 12 I'm holding on to, and we all do it. I ain't going to spend no $20, $15, dollars with this person, but you know what? That same $15, $20, $5, whatever it is we try to hold on to, we're going to spend it anyway. We're going to spend that shit anyway. <laughs> we're going to go to Indian store, Arab store, somebody's store, and we're going to drop it off. So I said, let me go ahead and get this brother. Let me go ahead and patronize this brother, man, and get this book. Even though I really can't do it. I really do need it. I went in here and did it anyway. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that just got to be done. Because people got to feel included. You know what I'm saying? Uh, man, Kim in Apparel. Uh, yeah, Kim in Apparel. Revolution into the Murray College shit. I bought this from the brother. Been about 40 on it. I don't even know him. You know what I'm saying, man? I see you got, I think you're trying to do something great, something positive, uplifting. We need those images out there. And I went in here, I supported them. I dropped it off. And I, I dropped it off. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I got this dashiki. Got this dashiki recently from uh, dashikiwoman.com. Shout out to Lee Brown and his mother. I bought it from them. You know what I'm saying? I bought more than one. I bought some mouse pads and a whole bunch of other items from her. That order was like, 170. I, you see what I'm saying? That is what it is. My brother Lux Cash. <laughs> My brother Lux Cash from iBuyBlack.com. You know what I'm saying? Got this hot hoodie right here. And this hoodie is so hot. This jacket is so hot. I went here to patronize and that was $80 right there. You see what I'm saying? I spent a lot of money on copies. On getting DVDs burned and passing stuff out for free. I be need my bread. I be need my bread most of the time. I ain't working lately. I haven't been working. You know what I'm saying? I've been working odd jobs off and on here and there. You know what I'm saying? Trying to get a little bread like that, surviving. I just moved from Mississippi to Minnesota, so I'm really in the middle, still trying to get situated and acclimated to the environment. But at the same time, still trying to work the soil and do what it is I do. You know, at the same time, you know. And, uh, you know, I done brought many speakers to town, especially when I was in Mississippi. Many speakers and groups to town, out my pocket, my own money. I'm busting my ass working at the chicken plant. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Getting underpaid. and still got to take care of everything else along the way. You know what I'm saying? But that's just sacrifices got to be made for the greater good. And see, and so that is, is what it is. We got to let this stuff flow, man. You know what I'm saying? We got to look out on people, man. And, uh... And not be uh, so much focused on people's methodologies and where they're doing stuff. You know what I'm saying? As long as, as, long as it's within African principles, they promote the cause of screaming black power. Trying to raise up the consciousness of the people who kids how they're doing it. You see what I'm saying? We're in a war. This is a war that we're in. You see what I'm saying? And the gorilla, the gorilla warrior. You feel me? The gorilla goddess. The, the uh, gorilla god. If any methodology any type of way to reach the people out and draw them to your cause and sympathize with you and to sympathize with the collective and the family as the people to pull them in. You use any methodology you can in guerrilla warfare. You see what I'm saying? That's what the white men do with his missionaries. That's what he do with his newspaper. That's what he do with his magazines and his uh, television shows and radio shows and all that. 
You see what I'm saying? That's what they do. Whether you out there passing out something, or you're plastering the wall with something, you know what I'm saying? To uh, catch the people to uh, shock and arm. That's guerrilla warfare. You use all them tactics in war. All them tactics in war. Because you got to remember the war is for the mind. That's the war. The war is for the mind. So long as it's catching the people and it's appealing to the mind, it's within African principles who care about their methodology, the way they're doing it. As long as it's within African principles, baby, you got to keep in mind this thing is integral. It's an integral effort. Everybody's helping everybody. You know what I'm saying? Everybody helping the collective. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? Nobody has no sole ownership over the moment. Nobody is a sole proprietor or owner. This is not no one person on the one group movement. This is a family movement. We are only sons of the whole. We are only a part of it. You see what I'm saying? This is something that we inherit and we is carrying on the torch for our ancestors and also for those who come behind us, our descendants, our offspring, for the babies. You see what I'm saying? For the family of the whole. For the family of the whole. Nobody on this movement, man. I don't care what you're doing. How you doing it. What you got, what you think you got, nobody owns this movement. You see what I'm saying? And so I was who I was and I am who I am before I even, before I met anybody. I've, I've been doing this. This is what I've been on. You see what I'm saying? But I love my, RG, my RBG family. I love those who I met. You know what I'm saying? And who I'm in contact with. I'm with it. 110%. I'm with it. You know what I'm saying? I won't have it no other way. But the thing is, nobody has ownership over this, man. You see what I'm saying? If we want to really use the real measurement to measure, you know what I'm saying, what we is doing, and the yardstick is the ancestors, they are the ruler. You see what I'm saying? If we want to juxtapose and parallel our efforts next to them, hey, we could, everybody could be classified as failing. Everybody could be classified as not doing shit. You see what I'm saying? Cause, ooh, the magnitude and what they did and how they did it and the sacrifices that they did, you know what I'm saying? And, and just the spirit that they had and that they possess, everybody be classified as coming up short and not doing shit. You see what I'm saying? And I analyze uh, things that they through the ancestor eyes. You know what I'm saying? I think they would be. I think they would be disappointed. So everybody could probably be, be doing much more. Could be better. We all could be. We all could do better. We all could be better. So, but the thing is, man. You know what I'm saying? We just gotta self check ourselves, family keep it going so a lot of things I observe I don't even hit on it you see what I'm saying I can't afford to re I can't afford to respond to it because the number one thing that must be correct in this fight is our energy is our force field and our aura that is the only reason how our ancestors a lot of times in these fights and wars that they was in they were outnumbered you see what I'm saying but they beat them by their spirit and their energy that force field it was the protection, so we got to keep our energy high, we got to keep it good, keep that frequency up, keep that vibe, vibing right. You see what I'm saying? That's what it's all about. So I can't detract from my energy. You see what I'm saying? I can't lessen or reduce my energy on certain stuff. I refuse to do it. I refuse to do it because I just see it as essential in these uh, perilous war times that we're in. I can't, I can't do it, and I won't do it. You see what I'm saying? It's still our love, but uh, I ain't taking away from my energy. And that's and, and that's and that's on that. I can't do it. And uh, you know, so we just gotta get our focus together, man. Get our focus together, bring it back in and home. You know, what I'm saying I got some ideas, some things that I really been thinking about that I think should be used and implement. I think you know, what I'm saying RBG family, those who say this is what they are, they are part of it, man. I think at least once a month. You know what I'm saying? We should strive to have a, a collective conference call once a month, at least a collective conference call. Check in, what's going on, brother, sister, what's going on, how you doing, family, book, you, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? Keep it moving. You see what I'm saying? Keep that cohesiveness and that familiarness, you know what I'm saying, going. You know what I'm saying? People will feel included and actually, you know, a part of something, not feel to be, you know, on the fringes or something. Yes. Brothers, sisters, families, you're going to fight, you're going to have struggle. You know that that's what brothers and sisters and family do. You see what I'm saying? Everything is going to be agreement and 100%. We could agree to disagree, no problem. But the thing is, though, the struggle to be a part of, to be accepted, to be looked at as love and a part of something, you know, 
that fight should only be to a certain degree. You understand what I'm saying? And people distinguish, like I said, once again, it's a fine line between sincerity and you know, somebody doing something with malice. You see what I'm saying? It's a fine line between that. So how much shit can a person take? How much effort should they take? How long should they try to extend their hand and be a part of something that they viewing is for them, but that for not being accepted and embraced? You see what I'm saying? A person, like I said, somebody ain't, ask, ain't, ain't in court with asking principles. Ah, hell no. Nah. You see what I'm saying? No. Okay, that's understood, but like, the only thing I'm just saying, that's a fine line between that. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, it's going to be struggle. Like I said, a person know when it's just pure nepotism or straight up outright favoritism or is it strictly uh, denominational type stuff. You see what I'm saying? A person knowing that being treated right or treated wrong. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, just got to self-check ourselves. So, uh, I think a monthly conference call, check in with everybody, you know, saying what's up is good. You know, developing our own um, RBG Black Business Directory. You know what I'm saying? I don't mind volunteering, put it together. You know what I'm saying? Those who want to be part of it, send the information, compile it, uh, put it together in a little booklet form, whatever. Put a stamp on it, mail it to them who want to mail it to them. Or uh, email to those who want to email it. You know what I'm saying? Receive it like that. And we encourage patronizing, you know, of these particular uh, businesses, group, person, individuals, whatever it is. You know, um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, then also, I've been looking at the, uh, doing a little research and look, checking out some stuff, man. Dealing with the Department of Homeland Security and this immigration. See, the big thing we got to check out, man, we know the direction that this beast is going in America. They're striving to try to make the black man permanently the working, survive, uh, uh, surviving slave class. You see saying? Trying to keep up that proletariat. Trying to make us a permanent underclass. You see what I'm saying? You know, the top ten groups that they're allowed to come over here is the Mexican, uh, Dominican Republic, India, Chinese, uh, Cuban, Vietnam, El Salvador, Canada, and United Kingdom. Top ten immigrant groups that so-called immigrant groups they allowed to come over here, and that's based on 2013. 2013, they let 3.3 million Hispanics come over here. You see what I'm saying? And those are the that's the class that they really trying to use the count on to perpetually keep their neck on us. You see what I'm saying? Because from 1990, the white man made up 72 or 75 percent of the U.S. population, and in 2050, he's set to become. Uh, 52% of the U.S. population. So, they're using these other immigrant groups that they're allowed to come in in numbers, specifically the Mexican, to perpetually keep their foot down on that neck. These are they allies. You see what I'm saying? These are they allies. If you notice in that top 10 group that I named, there's no Africans allowed to come over here in numbers. You see what I'm saying? So they, it's designed to perpetually keep us down. They don't want us linking arms with nobody at home or abroad. You see what I'm saying? So this this is the focus that we need to be focusing on. This real war that we is in and what is about to really go down. You see what I'm saying? So we need to be carving our pie out. You see what I'm saying? Whoever get to this so called American pie, they not dividing it. You see what I'm saying? Whoever get to that pie would not be divided. So this type of stuff that we need need to be focused on. We need to be thinking about family. Unity and getting together more than ever. So the rings within the rings, circles within the circles. You know what I'm saying? We need to, hey, make it a big ring. You see what I'm saying? Because we really got to get on unifying. Really, that's what we need to be focusing on. Not this petty, trivial stuff. How they doing it. How they going about it. And, you know what I'm saying? Or or getting caught up on the works that you're doing. Or thinking it as being great after what everybody else is doing. I just want to acknowledge the essential and importance of everybody. And recognize that this is a collective effort and everybody's work is integral. It plays a part. Everybody's work is integral and it plays a part. You see what I'm saying? I want us to keep in mind how everybody in this is relying on the next person. Everybody in this is relying on the next person. Because right now with the setup... But we almost operate in the setup of the government almost with the wealth trickling down. You see what I'm saying? With the wealth 
trickling down, but the wealth don't ever come down. You see what I'm saying? To the people. So, you know, we got to think about people more, reach out more, do it as we can. You know what I'm saying? Let things circulate, let it flow. Let it flow, man. Let it flow, man. Let it flow. Even if you can't patronize somebody, still check in with them. What's up, man? I can't get at you right now, but hey, I'm going to strive to, you know what I'm saying, in the future. Or whatever. But people are just strictly, but a lot of people are strictly just feeling like they on the island, isolated. Or like, you know what? This shit is some straight bullshit. And leaving. You see what I'm saying? And you may say, well, if they live, if they leave, they ain't strong enough. They ain't been formed. Some cases that is true, but all the time that is not the case. You see what I'm saying? And some things it is good, and sometimes in some cases it is good for some people to fall off. And some instances it is better for some people to fall off, and it's better without them. But all the time, fam, that ain't true. You know what I'm saying? All the time that is not the case. You see, like I said, how long should a person try to extend a branch to somebody, be a part of something? but not being received though. How long should a person try to do that? You see what I'm saying? So I just want us just to come down, self-check ourselves, get this thing back right. Cause we, it's, it's a lot of potential and a lot of life, but we got a lot of potential and a lot of life and a lot of opportunities, you know what I'm saying? It really do, uh, makes a major impact on the world and the universe. We have talked, you know what I'm saying? A lot of bright, brilliant minds, a lot of brothers and sisters, they're doing some things, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm seeing a lot of movement and activity down there in South Carolina, you know what I'm saying? The North Carolina RBGs, they doing it, you know what I'm saying? Lone Star RBGs, they doing it, you know what I'm saying? Big ups to them, everybody, they doing it, you know what I'm saying? Out there in California, you know what I'm saying? They striving, they doing it, you know what I'm saying? Milwaukee and Chicago, they doing it. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people doing a lot of good works. You know what I'm saying? Recognize, not recognize. A lot of people doing some good works, family. But with that though, black power. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Let's try to get this. Let's try to get this house right. Try to get this house in order. You see what I'm saying? Because as they say, hey, a house divided ain't gonna stand. So uh, I ain't got nothing else to say, man. But with that though, man, black power. Keep on striving, family. You know what I'm saying? I'm seeing a lot of good stuff, man. Just want to just bring that out there, man. And nobody owns this movement, you see. And to uh, have us more thoughtful of everybody. And to uh, really just try to get it in order and do it, man. Because it's a lot of power and potential. And to keep us really focused on the real fight, man. And on the real struggle that's ahead. So, you know what I'm saying? Black power and love.